The actually loaded build TurboGrafx 16 add-on pack just got reloaded with more ammo. Stay tuned. Welcome to his hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Man, I hate cheesy intros, but I just had to do it. So, this is regarding the Hacksy 2 CE loaded build that I did a little while back. Um, I'm going to post it in the top right hand corner of your screen, as well as down in the description of this video. You can go ahead and check that out. So, since then, I have done a Hacksy 2 CE TurboGrafx 16 pack. And this has a bunch of North American games, as well as some... Uh, Japanese translated to English games. Well, I've come to find that the PC Engine side of things has a lot of games that are playable, maybe with a little bit of Japanese in there, but mostly English, and you can definitely have a fun experience without not knowing any Japanese whatsoever. So I've decided to do the reloaded pack for the TurboGrafx-16 on the Hakshi build. Yes, this is going to work for your NES Classic, Famicom Mini, SNES Classic, Super Famicom Mini, Sega Genesis Mini, the Mega Drive Mini, so on and so forth. And in the future, I'm pretty sure this is going to work, you know, because Hakshi should be able to deal with the TurboGrafx-16 Mini, PC Engine Mini, PC Core Graphics Mini. So, um, basically what this pack is going to do is add a few games that were omitted from the initial TurboGrafx-16 pack and we can overwrite everything so that you don't need to re-download everything and stuff like that. I've made it as user-friendly as possible as I usually try to do. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we are inside of HackG2 CE loaded. And just going to wait for it to load the game. So because we've added some extras, it might take a little bit. But there are quite a few now for the TurboGrafx slash PC Engine. Um, 1943 Kai. So not a translated game, but you can definitely play it in English. And that's the same with Afterburner 2. Um, we do have a translated Alice in Wonder Dream. It had a different name, obviously, in Japanese. But I changed it over to Alice in Wonder Dream. Um, same with Altered Beast is here. And like I said, some of these games might have some Japanese still left in there, but believe me, they're completely playable. You won't have an issue. It's not like text-heavy games that aren't translated. These ones are actually perfectly fine to play. Um, Armed F is another one. Batman. Can't understand why this didn't come out in North America. It must have been licensing rights or something like that, but here it is. Uh, Battle Load Runner. There's more. Um, this is AOI Blink, but there's Blue Blink. Um, I believe it was in the initial release. Bomberman, Bomberman Users Battle. Bomberman 93 was US release, but here's special version. Here's 94. And so on and so forth. I mean, there are quite a few games now. So initial release had 119. And I'm just going to show everyone how many we have now. We have 173. Not bad at all. I've added 54 extra games. Uh, what I did want to point out was each and every game has been scraped for description. As well as I've created the CD jewel case box art for all of these games. Because I didn't have it, so I went ahead and created it. So that took some time, and that's why this was a you know, kind of an afterthought, but I've gone ahead and done that for everybody, and I hope everyone enjoys it. Now, when it comes to people saying, my games aren't loading, the command line is PCE, but we can change that. So I'll show you how to do it in one by one, as well as in bulk. So right click, select emulation core. So we have TurboGrafx-16, which one do you want to choose? Now, you want to choose, and I, uh, this is for everyone, it's not like a, a personal preference, <laughs> the Beetle PCE Fast. So we'll hit Apply, and Close. 
And now when we hit it, you can see we have a different command line. This should work on all of the minis. The rest of them say PCE. If we want to do it in bulk, I'll go to Aero Blasters. I'll scroll all the way down until we hit Zipang, the bottom game. Hit hold shift on my keyboard and left click. And that highlights all of the games. Now I'll right click on them. Select Emulation Core. Now I'm going to click one game, doesn't matter which one, hit Control A. Oh, it doesn't work in Hacksheet. Okay, we'll hit Arrow Blasters, we'll hit the top game. We'll scroll all the way down. We'll hold Shift and left click again. Now we have everything selected. Now on the right side, we'll make sure we're with PC Engine TurboGrafx-16. Then we'll go to Beetle PCE Fast, click that, click Apply. And hit close. Now no matter what game we choose we have the KMFD Manic Mednafen PCE Fast cores and that's what's going to load our games. So if you guys are having any issues with it just saying PCE in the command line go ahead and follow this little guide right here and that'll get you up and running. So I hope that you guys appreciate these games. A lot of them are new to me. So we're talking like 30-year-old games that are new to me. They're brand new. Uh, one that I'm enjoying right now is Batman for the PC Engine. But there's quite a few more that I want to check out in the future. That's going to do it for this one. I really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. But most importantly, have a good day.